Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of that series where I keep my Agris oh. Fever enabled while I gather all day. My name is Teddy and I'm back here in the ocean to do some underwater gathering while I gather the last contribution point needed for wood crates. With all that out of the way, let's dive in. Here we go! Before jumping on a boat and sailing out for oysters, I get prepped up. I've made agile elixirs using alchemy, and I've bought the party versions off the central market. This will give me underwater breathing plus 15 seconds. Wearing the dum dum diving clothes will give another 30 seconds onto my underwater breathing. Dude. And I will be choosing the seafood crons meal Ooh, over the big hard boiled shellfish since I don't need that extra 10 seconds. This will add almost a whole minute minute to my underwater breathing. Maybe I might get lucky and my hedgehog will give me double pearls or me to increase the profits. Bruh. Now that I'm ready, let's get on the boat and start diving for oysters. Starting out in Velia, I head towards Pirate Island. I'm using the Etheria Cog because it's fast and I don't want to waste the time with that huge cooldown. So, finding oysters can be hard, and these little buggers have a whopping 8 hour respawn time. Just finding them can take some time. A few moments later. Along the way, I'm gonna stop and dive down hoping someone didn't already gather any of the giant pearls in the area. Everything gathered can be sold for some good money, so I will be saving everything. Sailing can take a no, while, God, and diving please, isn't no, the quickest thing no. to do, but it's not like I'm waiting for a crop to grow. As I keep going, my inventory will start to get full, so I make sure to dry all the oysters so they can be sold or used for cooking. Turning these in would be a waste of silver, since they are sold for more on the central market than the turn-in value. For the lobsters, I'm gonna heat them up to change them into glue since they will sell for far more than turning them in or drying them to be used for cooking. Now that there's free room, it's back to sailing. I do gather coral so they can be processed to make silver with all the gems I've been storing in Glish. Oh yeah! Drying the crawfish, I make more on the central market just selling these. I've been sailing around the edge of the sea because there are more oysters here, but it does take some time. You serious? I can make my way here to the side of Al Naha Island. It's a little busier with more players coming here, but if you can catch it at the right time, you can easily get oysters. After jumping into as many channels as I could and drying everything, I was able to make 120 mil. Here is everything I've gathered, but most of what I have here will be processed further to make more. Now, I could have stayed out there longer, but with other players grabbing these oysters, it would take me longer than I wanted to be out there. Before all the angry comments, you can make more if RNG is on your side, or if you can catch the oysters before someone else. I plan on cooking and processing most of everything down here in another episode, so if you're curious on other ways to make silver, click on this video here, and I will see you guys in the next episode.